Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a quick little update video. And I've been meaning to make this video address this topic for a while now. I'll just, I was sort of waiting until the final nail was put on the coffin for YouTube's annotations. Okay. Now, if you've been on mobile, you really haven't encountered YouTube annotations, but if you've been on desktop or tablets, you might have played around with YouTube annotations. It's sort of a, a feature that YouTube introduced in 2008 where you could basically have, uh, as a creator anyway, you could basically have windows pop up in your videos where you know you could add additional information to your videos if uh, you know there was something you wanted to reference. Or you could link up the windows where people could click on the window and they would be directed to another video that might have been related to what you were talking about and whatnot, right? Now, I started making videos in 2007, sort of acquiring the tools I needed to be able to learn how to edit, how to shoot video, how to mess around with lighting and play around with sound a little bit initially, right? And uh, basically, I was working towards learning how to put my math content together. And YouTube annotations were an amazing feature as far as I was concerned for me to create the math content because they allowed me to layer the work and sort of reference the videos that I was talking about, right? So I sort of, after playing around for a little while and learning how to do all this, uh, create all this content, I started introducing annotations on my videos, but I, probably around 2010, 2011. And I continued doing that work until early 2018, because in 2018, basically at the beginning of 2018, YouTube stopped people from creating any more annotations and they started directing people to use uh, end screens and cards. And I looked then to those features, those new features that YouTube was rolling out. Uh, the end screens I've been using, the cards I haven't been using and I will not use them most likely because they're sort of, uh, I consider them to be sort of intrusive because they're, if you're watching a video in the top right corner, you'll see sort of a little something pop up and does a little thing like this and you can click on it and it opens up another window and it, uh, you can have, you know, as creators, you can have things reference where you can reference other videos or other information, right? But for me, who's creating sort of ASMR type of videos, sort of chill videos, I don't really appreciate things popping up at me rapidly, right? Because the way I was doing the work uh, using annotations, I was having the video sort of slowly fade in and it would stay up from anywhere between 10 to 30 seconds or so, sometimes 45, almost a minute sometimes I was talking about a specific video. And then I would slowly have them fade out. And when they were fading in, I would surround the videos or the images with the annotations. And if you scrolled on top of the video or the images, a little text would pop up and say, it would say, click to open a new tab, right? Or click to watch a new tab. And that's sort of how I uh, designed the content I was building, uh, specifically initially with the mathematics, because with math, we're talking about a concept and it's related to other videos. I would have sort of a, and videos that I had created, I would have a video sort of slowly fade in and certain part of the screen and the annotation would be there and then you could click on it if you wanted to know further information about what it was that we're talking about or you needed to learn that technique to continue the video that we were doing in regards to the mathematics then you could click on that watch that video learn that technique and then come back to the original video and continue watching now that you knew what it was that we're doing right phenomenal for building educational content once I started playing around with that and learned, you know, acquired more power to edit videos, I started incorporating that stuff into a lot of the other videos, a lot of the other content we we're creating on this channel. 
uh, may be related to food, may be related specifically to ASMR, uh, different topics we've been discussing ASMR. And I used a lot of annotations in the comic book videos that we were creating, specifically the comic book reads or when I was showing you my comic book collection or hauls, right? For example, uh, in a lot of the comic book reading videos that we we're doing, at the end of that video, I would have multiple videos pop up, sort of like uh, the end screens that YouTube has right now, but it wouldn't just be two videos. It'd be like multiple videos popping up with, you know, annotation on those videos where you could click on them and watch them. And then I would have the covers of the comic books we've been reading. A lot of them would be in the bottom and they were little and all those covers you could have clicked and read those comics or gone to the video where we did the reading for that comic, right? Phenomenal. I loved it. I used my own annotations a lot, okay? Uh, because I'm mainly using uh, content and stuff on desktops. So I'm not really on the mobile platforms very much, right? So I really appreciated that feature. And basically since 2010, 2011, up to the end of 2017, we've had you know we uploaded i looked into this we uploaded approximately 300 plus videos and almost all of those videos had annotations some of them multiple annotations throughout the video including the annotations at the end of the videos right so there was 300 plus videos that were annotated which required hundreds of hours of annotating me creating those annotations right uh, especially for the ones related to comic books and mathematics as well right but the comic book stuff sort of took over where i had little images the covers popping up and uh, just allowing people the opportunity just to see it click on the image and go to a reading right i loved it personally okay but since the end of 2017 youtube announced that they were getting rid of annotations and introducing cards and end screens and they weren't gonna allow any more videos at the beginning of 2018 i believe any videos to be annotated so you could only use cards and end screens from the beginning of 2018 let's say so any videos that have been loaded on from 2018 and onwards only have the end screens because I'm not using the cards. And last time I checked, which was a while ago, uh, they only allowed five cards to be used per video, right? For me, if you watch some of those videos, you'll know there were like dozens of annotated images or videos in some of the videos I put in, sometimes, uh, you know, multiple videos in a row, right? So the cards really didn't do it for me. Uh, basically because of the limitation of how many you could use and because I found them to be intrusive. I usually turn off annotations whenever I see a card pop up in any type of video that I watch from anyone else, right? But the end screens, they're workable, right? Because they're at the last 20 seconds of the video. And one thing YouTube uh, announced at the end of 2017, beginning of 2018 was that, you know, as creators, we should go back and add cards and end screens to the previous videos that we had uploaded, right? Now, for some of us that have, right now I have 600 plus videos, 650 plus videos on YouTube, and you know, 300 plus of those were annotated. And what they mentioned was, if you go back and add the cards and the end screens to any videos that you had annotations on, the annotations would be killed, right? Which I had no desire to kill the annotations, right? So I didn't add any cards or end screens to any of the previous videos from beginning of 2018, right? What YouTube announced at the end of 2018 was initially they had announced that they were going to allow the annotations to exist, right? But then at the end of 2018, they mentioned that all annotations are now going to disappear. So 300 plus videos that we had annotated the annotations on those are gone. The hundreds of hours of work that I put in to annotate those videos, they're gone. A resource that I used for my own videos, just to watch the videos, just to make sure 
uh, especially for the math content that I've been building, just to make sure I'm referencing the right material and stuff like that, where I would click on and make sure I was going to the right video and then build content related to a certain topic in mathematics. I haven't been able to use those annotations or I won't be able to use those annotations, those clicking on the images, the videos, to go to those videos, right? So I found that I find it very unfortunate that YouTube, Google, Alphabet Inc. decided to do this because it wouldn't have cost them anything, re really, to maintain those annotations on those videos. Very unfortunate that they did this. And this is sort of the second time that Alphabet Inc., Google, has done something that they introduced a while ago and then people had been working and spend a lot of time building content on that feature that they introduced where they've taken the feature and eliminated it from their platform where all that information is lost right whatever number of hours that people had put on are lost one of them was their image hosting platform that they had and now the annotations so i just wanted to give everyone's everyone a heads up um, because what I'm going to do in the background, uh, time allowing, is go back and add end screens to some of those 300 plus videos that we have uploaded. Most likely I'm going to start off with, you know, the most popular videos and start adding the end screens on there. I won't have, I won't be adding cards on there uh, for multiple reasons, right? Uh, two of which that I stated. Um, and unfortunately, I don't think in the description of the videos, I provided links to all the reference material in all the videos that we created. Okay, because one of the reasons was because of the limit on how much you could share in the description of those videos. The other one was because I assumed this was a feature that YouTube was going to keep forever. And my uh, desire my hope is that at some point we will have features again added either on YouTube or another disruptive innovation another platform that has video sharing abilities where they will allow us to have videos slowly fade in or images slowly fade in where people can go on an image and click on that image and acquire additional information without a little boop thing popping up here, distracting your line, your view, distracting you from the information being shared or the story being told, right? Because as someone who edits video or people who've been editing video, it's quite easy to make something very unintrusive in the background, just pop up, just in case someone else wants additional information where they can click on it or go to a reading, maybe a video or an image or something like this, right? Uh, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, my apologies, it is beyond my control. Uh, I sort of laid out my work the way I was going to create and layer everything based on the annotations. But what I've been doing since the beginning of 2018, making sure trying to make sure anyway that any videos or images or anything that we talk about in in the content that we're creating the videos that we're discussing that they're also uh, the stuff is referenced in the description of the videos so anything from 2018 and onwards you're pretty much guaranteed that if there's an image popping up or referencing to another video or a video popping up referencing that video the link in the is in the description of the videos okay before that pre 2018 i can't guarantee that everything that was popping up in the videos is going to be referenced in the description of the video at some point time allowing when i focus my full attention on this work on this content where i'm able to get some help coming in to do some of the back end work i will try to go back and provide all the links to all the referenced content in the videos in the description of the videos okay until then what i am going to do is continue using the end screens we're not going to use the cards and any videos popping up i will try to make sure that i reference 
the links, the information in the description of the videos. Okay. Aside from that, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting this work. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for turning on notifications. Thank you for participating and uh, giving feedback to the content and additional information uh, in the comments uh, regarding whatever topic that it is that we are talking about because there's a lot of people providing a lot of additional information a lot of background history and possible corrections uh, that I've you know might have referenced incorrectly in the video in the comments of all the videos that we have okay aside from that thank you for being here and I'll see you guys in the next video bye for now